Hey guys, thanks for joining back. We are back again with Winter Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Hey, update time. Always good to have. So we finally got an update. Now at the time of this recording, it was done a few days ago. So hopefully you guys have already involved in playing um, with, along with the new update here. So we're going to go ahead and run through the patch notes real quickly, discover some of the new features if we can. And I'm actually going to possibly go and head out on a little adventure. So we'll Go ahead and dive right into it. So the updated content, the fuel of the newly added cooking rack is insufficient. When the backpack interface is closed, a pop-up confirmation uh, box twice. So I don't know, I think that was a bug, not too sure. New functions, fishing, really interested in doing that. And that's part of the reason where we'll be sort of he heading to. Hopefully I'll be able to start fishing soon enough. New functions, clans. So what we've got here, I think this is the new clan feature here. Um, and we can, uh, no, you, you do not get fo uh, followers. Don't know too much about this at the moment here. So if we go ahead and give a bit of a squeeze through the systems manual. I believe you guys will be able to do this as well and um, have a bit of a squeeze and see what's what. I'm not going to go ahead and read this because there is a bit of content there and I really sort of don't want to um, dive right into it. But we can create our own little clan if we want. Now I'm not too sure yet if I'm going to go ahead and set up my own clan just quite yet but we'll see how we go and possibly in the future I might actually dive into it but we'll see how we go with that one there. Um, modify the button on the first charge package. Now, I don't know what that is. So I think this is probably a mix of updated content and bug fixes. Repair weapon range skills. Um, new functions, chat blocking, click on the avatar, okay. Repair the lifting frame of the internal fortress ruins, okay. Um, adjust the power of the two-handed tower hammer and the two-handed nail head hammer. Fixed abnormal text display on Dragon interface. Revise the English name of the uh, absentee who couldn't sleep. Uh, we'll update the app in the App Store and Google Play Store at the same time. And if the game has been updated by the time you open the game, loading resources, you will no longer need to visit the App Store or Google Play Store. And that's basically it. And we'll, we shall get right into it. So what I actually wanted to do today is I do want to do fishing and I really want to show you that content. What I haven't got at the moment is a couple of things. So let's have a quick squeeze at the fishing rod. Um, well, I only really need the fishing hook and I don't have that yet. I know there's only one place to get it and that's where we're going to head off to today. The herm lock there and the fishing wire I've already got in sufficient, so I will be able to utilize that without a problem. And, oh, hello. We have a, a friend here. Who's this? A collector. Um, okay, I'm not too sure what this is all about here. Um, take in. Hmm. I'm not too sure. Collect master. So what happens if I take in? There are not enough mercenary beds to recruit more entourages. Okay. So if I create a bed, he can stay with me? Okay. What does it need? What do we need to make a bed? Um, bed, 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 bed. I think I went past it, to be honest with you. Or I haven't actually gotten to that part yet. There we go, the bed. Okay. Well, easy, easily um, obtainable resources, to be honest with you. I've actually got a bed over here, which I haven't actually fixed up yet, which I should probably really get around in doing. Um, you know what? Let's actually quickly do that. Let's um, quickly check this fella out. So let's do that. Um, let's grab that. And I think we needed some rope and some of that. Bed complete. Uh, daily chance. Buff can be enjoyed after using it. Full rest gets full um, rest. EXP increase will go. Okay. Um, I'll leave that alone for now. I really want to sort of go back to our little friend there and see what he um, what he does now. If he doesn't do anything, that's fine. I just wanted to see if, if there's any ch uh, sudden change or anything like that. Um, so will he be a... A friend of ours? It's got to be a mercenary bed. Okay. 
So do we actually have the ability to make it? Oh, there you go. Mercenary bed's there. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I made the bed for nothing, but it's there anyway, whatever. So I've got to be at least level 35 until I can unlock the mercenary bed. So yeah, okay, interesting. Um, what I wanted to do now is I actually want to head over to the frozen harbor and that's where we want to sort of go. And hopefully we, um, uh, we shall, it's particularly dangerous. Yep. I've never been here before to be perfectly honest with you. So this is the very first time that I'm going in here myself. And I just wanted to give a crack at it and see how we go. Possibly, hopefully obtaining a fish hook. That's what I'm after. If I can get a fish hook, fantastic. Um, now I'm not too sure of best practice way to actually um, go through the uh, frozen harbor myself. So I'm hoping that I will um, have the survival instincts in me to, um, you know, starve off anyone that's gonna basically, whoops. Well, I didn't wanna run out of the zone, but. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll survive. That's basically what I wanted to get out, but let's, um, yeah, let's waltz right in and let's see who I need to attack. So a har harbor swordsman here. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay. He actually did quite a bit of damage there. What I might need to do is, oh, wow. I'm actually already cold. Are you serious? I need warmer clothing. Ooh. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, okay. I might not be able to do this zone. Interesting. That's very interesting. Whether or not I might need a torch. Do I need a torch? Because the torch will actually keep me warm, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go ahead a quick squiz torch I've, I know I've got one back at camp uh, one plus five around five points so if I look at my character now what's my my warmth well 19 well it's kind of freezing now so let's have a quick look at that warm to be able to keep warm the higher the value the better the resistance in the cold some maps require that can i so it's got a two-day timer and i probably should have actually read this a little bit more um i don't think i can actually go in there and uh nope i guess i probably should have really read the location um id and, and sort of suss out exactly what i sort of needed to do so let's go back home or better yet, let's see if I can just go to, um, actually let's go to the Vargin camp. And let's just quickly run over, I just want to see, so I've, I had 19 warmth value I guess, it's probably fair to say. So let's just go ahead and check this one out now. It doesn't tell you what warm value that you need. Hmm. Okay. Not too sure what to sort of make of that. So I'm going to quickly run back home. And what we might end up doing is I'll grab the torch, see if that works. And then I guess we'll head out. Or should I possibly upgrade my clothing and and, that's, and I think that might be a good shout so I'm just going to quickly eat some of this because I did bring this extra set here and if this set's not going to cut it there's obviously no point in doing it or using it I should say rather um okay so let's have a quick look and see so warmth is eight versus six if I learn that and craft all of that which I actually have the resources for so to be perfectly honest with you I'm not too sure why I haven't done this yet so actually you know what um, I need to actually think about this because that's three that's five that's seven nine and eleven so I'll just have enough to 
learn all of that actually. Yeah, very lucky. Okay. Alright, so what I might end up doing is I might drop all this back. There we go. I'm gonna have to declothe my player. keep you guys all together because I'll just use these for other zones now so this is basically going to be a higher requirement for me moving forward um, what am I going to need okay so I know I'm going to need this uh, this this possibly this and I think that as well and I think I may need uh, a plank. Okay. So let's go ahead and craft that up. Let's craft that. And let's craft that. Craft that. And finally craft that. Okay. So I had everything anyway to sort of um, get all of this better armor, I guess. And hopefully, well, look at that, I'm nearly on 30, 30 warmth there, resistance. So what I might actually in fact do is I might just grab my torch and just have it with me on my persons there. And I think that may be enough for us to uh, walk into that zone again. Oop, it's a little bit of a glitch. I was doing a bit of um, a bit of parkour there. Um, okay, where is the torch? There we go. And I may just, oops, put that in its place. Take that out and equip with that because I think we're going to need a um, a better a better weapon for this zone here. Um, well, it only just shows. Oh, okay, so you actually have to be holding. So what I might end up doing is I might just um, alternate if I need to, but we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so there's a few blizzard land. Um, that's a hard zone, so I'm not going to bother with that myself. So at least there's a two-day timer on the frozen harbor, which is kind of, kind of good. Um, okay, yep. I want to spend some coins. Let's run over. Let's do it. Cool. I've got a bit of coinage now, which is not bad, but um, let's see how we do with the frozen harbor. So I'm, like I said, I haven't been down this way before and I really want to sort of, you know, do my best and show you guys um, what can be had in the zone here. I'm sure a lot of you more advanced and experienced players that have been playing the game more exclusively um, will know exactly what you guys can get out of this zone. But I'm hopeful that I can get something pretty neat. Um, so for now, I'm just going to sort of take a few bits and pieces that I sort of come and see um, in amongst the, um, the zone here. Like I said, I'm hoping I can get some fish hooks. Um, I'm not too sure if it's like a single item that you can only get, but we'll, um, we'll sort of suss it out. Um, my guy just keeps on falling down as he's... Oop, come on, there we go, and a level up, very good, and let's see this fella over here, let's get out of his, oh. the, the lag in this game unfortunately is not the greatest, now the developer have come out and said that they are going to work on the ping um, for the servers here, and hopefully um, we will find that the game will run a lot more smoothly um, in time, but right now, unfortunately, um, we, yeah, we sort of have to unfortunately sort of put up with what we've got at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back to my torch over here. So it looks like, no, I don't think it's actually working to be honest. So I'm not actually getting any warmer. So right now guys, I don't think I'll be able to survive the zone. Which is really not, um, which is really, really unsettling. Oop, hello. 
No, 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 get out of the way, you silly man. I don't know how you guys do it. So let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to know exactly how you guys sort of take on um, this uh, specific zone. If you guys... Oh, jeez, what happened there? That was a massive, massive glitch. Um, well, I'm inside now, so hopefully this might be okay. I doubt it. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and eat some of this. And I might just quickly drink up just so I can sort of go back up to 100%. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Where the hell? Run, run, you silly man. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. Where the hell? This executioner fella here. I don't know where the hell he came from. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, that's fine. I should be able to go back and revive my body anyway, so not too particularly worried about that, but my goodness, the lag in the game, I think that killed me. I thought I had a fast attack weapon, and I don't know, I honestly don't know what's happened there, but um, yeah, that's very, very interesting. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to somehow have to head back to that zone and pick up my... Um, well, unfortunately, my, my dead corpse there. But um, I'm going to need some uh, temperature. Well, this gives me plus ten. The moment that I walk in there, I'm going to I'm going to absolutely die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, grab a hold of this. I know it's not much, and it's probably not going to do me any good whatsoever. But I feel if I don't use it, um, yeah, no, it's not going to happen for me because I really don't want to lose what I've got there. So we'll head pack over um, and cowardly try and grab um, well, my, my dead body, basically. Uh, yeah, so it is a quite dangerous area. Um, let me know, guys, how, how and when did you guys... Um, decide to go into the frozen harbor zone or any zone of this sort of um, uh, difficulty level. So it's a three skull zone that we've got here. And yeah, I'm interested to know exactly how you guys have handled the zone um, yourselves in the past. Oh my God, he's actually there too. Oh, why? Do I have to do like a dinner dash and just quickly run and pick up my body? All right, all right let's do it. Come on. Uh, store all, store all, take all, take all, run, 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 oh my god, uh, get, get out of here, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, oh my god, <laughs> I play so many other survival games, and the problem with that is, uh, let's just quickly heal up, is pretty much I, um, so let's quickly equip and rotate these guys over. Okay. And my problem is that all the buttons are in different areas. So I've got different placements of buttons. It's, yeah, not good. Um, but even having said that, I need to go back in there. No, it's fine. I need to go back in there and retrieve it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see how we do. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just pop that into here. Let's just use that. I know it's an absolute waste of my time here, but um, I need to get to this body. Come on, take all. All right, let's get the hell out of here because I'm not going to defeat the executioner in this state. Um... Cool. All right, so <laughs> I got out of there at the very least. I don't know where he respawns now. I'm just curious to see real quickly. Okay, can I finesse my way over here? Yes, I can, but I can't. I can't get any further than what I am here. So you actually have to go down that way. Oh man, that that's terrible. Okay, well, um, I tried, 
and I'm getting out of here because I do not want to deal with you and you are going to absolutely destroy me. So yeah, goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, so interesting enough, guys, um, I am not able to do the Frozen Harbour whatsoever. Uh, all that I can probably do is possibly things like the uh, Two Skulls, possibly at best, uh, Pinewoods, potentially. Um, I sort of I sort of can't go into those areas just yet, being Three Skull. Hermlich Woods, yeah, forget about it, it's not going to happen. So I'm sort of going to have to pick my battles now moving forward before I can sort of dive right into into a zone and expect to um, uh, survive, I guess. So even these zones here are no-go right now. Uh, Eternal Fortress, no thanks, uh, not going to happen. And then the Forever Night Plane, that's three skull here, it's not going to happen. So um, I might just maybe try some two skull zones for now and just see how I go with that. But um, I think it's probably a good time to leave it here anyway, so I don't want to really embarrass myself any further than what I have. I'm going to head home. Um, tail between the legs there, a three hour walk, it is what it is, but um, probably a little bit later on I'll probably be able to speed up time a bit, so we'll do that at a later stage. But anyway guys, I appreciate you stopping by, having a look at the video, possibly even laughing at my expense there. Let me know in the comments if you guys found this a little bit on the more amusing side. Again, please let me know um, how... Did you guys go when the first time that you actually went through the fro uh, frozen zone, or sorry, the frozen harbour yourselves? What level were you? What type of weapons? What type of uh, clothing did you guys take along with you so you guys didn't freeze out like I did there? So um, probably a good experience for a, a, lot, a lot of low level people, um, possibly in the similar position that I am, um, that came into the frozen harbour or are looking to go into the frozen harbour and um, hopefully this would sort of give you guys a, a good warning um, not to go in there until you guys have um, a better setup. So that's that's my position at the moment. I need to have a better setup. Hopefully I'll be able to do that in future. But I think for now, for me, I think I'll probably be good at just staying along in the um, Two Skull at best. Uh, possibly raiding the village of Berg a lot more, just trying to get a lot more resources and gathering in that sort of respect there. Um, I really want to get the, um, it's a, I've only seen it in this zone here, but I haven't actually been here, but the possible loot that you can get from it. Oh, you, can, you can't actually um, tap on it when you're walking. Anyway, there's the um, anvil, or I think they, they call it the felt, I believe. Let's have a look. It should be over here. Um, sorry, guys. I know I'm sort of bouncing around. I sort of probably should have ended the video, but... Um, these things just pop up in, the, in my old head here and I just sort of want to, you know, crack on and, um, so, yeah, here we go. So, Iron Felt. You can only get it that I can see in this zone here if you were to go into it as a drop. So, anyway, I really wanted to get that so I can actually, you know, craft the blacksmith table there. But anyway, going to leave it here. Appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, share the video, two best possible ways to get the video um, out to everyone there and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already if you want to see more of my future videos and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on anything in future. Anyway guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.